Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm glad that you are meeting today to discuss a subject which is of a major importance. As I said to your ministers when this issue was discussed in the Council this semester, it's an opportunity to show that investing in the environment is not part of the problem, but part of the solution to the economic and financial crisis. We all know that recovery from the crisis will not be possible as long as we believe that business as usual will do the trick. Our macroeconomic instruments can and should act in support of environmental objectives. Resource efficiency and the circular economy should become a central part of the European Union's economic policy. It is encouraging that we are not alone in this. Recently, the leaders of the OECD, IMF and the World Bank underlined the role of green growth as a route out of the crisis. There is no alternative if we want to secure ready access to scarce resources and materials. We need to invest more in waste and water management as drivers for job creation and to implement environmental fiscal reform. I hope that you will be able to discuss today a number of concrete ideas on how we can work together to make economic governance and national economic policies more sustainable. The 2014 annual growth survey, which was adopted two weeks ago, marks the start of the European semester and contains priorities which should be addressed in the national reform programs. This year's annual growth survey acknowledges that recovery in Europe does not mean getting back to business as usual and identifies the following priorities on environmental issues. First, longer term investment in education, research, innovation, energy and climate action should be protected and the needs of the most vulnerable in our society should be catered for. Second, taxes should be designed to be more growth friendly, for instance, by shifting the tax burden away from people and employment on to consumption property and combating pollution. And third, we need to promote resource efficiency by improving waste and water management, recycling and energy efficiency. The annual growth survey also refers to environmentally harmful subsidies and the job creation potential of the greening of the economy. It would be a powerful signal if your national reform programs would take up these issues and respond to the analysis and recommendations from the 2013 semester on issues such as environmental taxation, environmental harmful subsidies, waste management and water man management. The accompanying Staff working documents this year contain important information on fiscal policy and taxation, phasing out subsidies on fossil fuels and company cars, as well as structural measures promoting growth and competitiveness, focusing on waste management, water pricing and infrastructure, eco-innovation, energy efficiency and air quality. This information may also be useful to further shape the national reform programs for 2014. I would like to conclude by repeating my call to work together on greening growth through the semester. To work together to make the link between the environment and the economy. To persuade our colleagues in the economic and finance ministries with good examples and convincing data. I hope we have helped by providing some of these examples and data at European level. But it will only have its full effect if you can develop the case for your own country as well. That is why I wanted to thank you personally for participating today. Thank you and I wish you a very fruitful workshop.